जय हिंद दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चरण शास्त्री वेस्ट बंगाल स्कूल सर्विस कमीशन डब्ल्यू बी एस एस सी एक्चुअली इट इज डब्ल्यू बी सी एस एस सी वेस्ट बंगाल सेंट्रल स्कूल सर्विस कमीशन Finally, SSC has completed its second SRST Assistant Teacher 2025 examination. So we are here to tell about the answer key of class 11th and 12th chemistry subject. Okay, there may be ambiguity with some of the questions. So actual answer key may vary with this answer key. Okay, this is a disclaimer because what SSC thinks and what we thinks there is a difference. Before proceeding to answer key, let me first tell you there are some questions which are literally very tough, and there are some questions which are very very easy. and overall the question paper is moderate to tough okay it is not in the easy side it is a moderate to tough very conceptual question okay if you have done thorough study then you are able to solve if you have done mugging the topics then you are not then you are not able to going to solve this question paper so let's start with question number 1 let's start with question number 1 which says which one of the following information best represent the organic compound menthol they have written in the cyclohexan confirmation and they want the answer in chair confirmation so it is a very simple question the answer is answer number d How I arrive at question answer number is very simple. OH and CSV these two are in cis position. So OH and CSV are in cis position, and this isopropyl group is it trans with respect to the OH and CSV group. Okay. Question number two says identify the wrong statement about the phosphorescence. Phosphorescence and phosphorescence are the these are the two type of chemiluminescence. So we have to identify the wrong statement. You know very well that phosphorescence is a non-spin allowed transition. So This is not a spin allowed transition. This is spin forbidden transition, and it is a relatively slower process. So phosphorescence is slow and delayed process. Yes, it is a correct option. Phosphorescence is a specific type of element. Yes, I already told you. And phosphorescence is not a result of. This is also true because phosphorus does not depend on temperature. The only possible answer is this one. So correct answer is answer D, which is a false. Phosphorus is a spin allowed transition. It is a spin forbidden transition. Question number three says identify the correct statement for ideal dilute solution. Okay, the very simple question. Ideality or the condition of dilute solution is that it every component of the system or solution must obey the Raoult's law. So option A. Next question, question number four. This is a very conceptual question. Next question number four. Question number four says among the following molecules, the correct order of rate of evolution of nitrogen. Basically, rate of evolution of nitrogen means the N2 will release and thereby it will form the carbocation. So th this question is actually related with the formation of carbocation. Greater the stability of the carbocation, greater will be the possibility of releasing of n2 so the answer is x will form benzyl carbon highly stable then we have a tertiary butyl carbocation and then is a normal carbon so the correct answer is option number d question number 5 says the dark purple color of potassium permanganate solution is due to the only possible is charge transfer transition because is a d5 system so no d transition no ligand field transition no sigma pi star the only possible is charge transfer transition yes now we have a question number 6 which says for a particular type of vanderwall gas equation Magnitude of boil temperature T B, critical temperature inversion temperature T I and T C. This is a mathematical based question. You must know the value of T B. So T C is equal to A T by 27 R B. E B is equal to A by R B and T I is equal to 2 A by R B. So when you relate of these three question, you will get the answer is A. Question number seven says the condition required for the following photochemical reaction. So this is basically a pericyclic reaction. The first one is Eight pi electrocyclic ring closure. Okay, so the only possible answer is option number B. Now question number eight: If silicon is separated, question number eight: If silicon is separately doped with arsenic and aluminium, so here here is my silicon, then it is doped with arsenic, and other than it is doped with aluminium. So the correct answer is two. Now we have a question number nine, which says copper metal, lithium metal, and polonium metal shows respectively FCC, BCC, and simple cubic crystal structure. Identify the correct number of percentage of space. Occupied by the atom in this crystal. So very simple question. Greater the number of atom per unit, so greater will be the percentage of space occupied by that atom, occupied that crystal. So FCC greater than BCC greater than simple. The answer is B. Now we have a question number ten. Which one of the following amino acid will show a net negative charge at physiological condition of pH four point zero? Since net negative charge, negative charge means that amino acid must contains more than one acidic portion. That is, it must contain more than one sewage group. The only possible is glutamic acid because lysine and histidine are basic amino acid. Glycine is a neutral. Now I have question number eleven, which says which of the following reagents can be used to distinguish between one butyne and two butyne? Okay, this is basically related with the acidity of butyne. So only possible option is copper chloride. Okay, because both one butyne and two butyne will react with all of these three: bromine in CCL four, zener catalyst, and 
mercuration demercuration so when one butane react with cupric chloride it will lead to the formation of red color of ppd but two butane will not react with cupric chloride cucl2 so the option is answer number d question number 12 is very very easy P they want the configuration at position number 2 and position number is correct answer is option number c now we have answer question number 13 which says we have a they have given the molecule cs co cs double bond cs2 the electronic transition observed in the uv visible region is uv visible region that means the relatively lower region so the answer is n2 pi s and pi 2 pi star sigma 2 pi sigma 2 sigma s are relatively large energy transition so it will have a lower wavelength n2 sigma s is not allowed so an answer will be n2 pi star and pi 2 pi star question number 14 which says which of the following isomerism is observed in the following two compounds so the correct ono and n2 the correct answer is linked isomerism 15 number question which of the following compounds exhibit john taylor dissociation john taylor dissociation will be given by those compound which have differently filled eg set of orbitals okay mn h4 h6 2 plus this is basically d5 system so both t2g and eg are completely filled uh, both t2g and eg eg are symmetrically filled mn h2 h6 3 plus d4 system t2g 3 and eg 1 so the possible answer is option number b question number 16 says which of the following pairs are epimeric with respect to the each other so option is answer number c now we have question number 17 the relation between the uncertainty in momentum and uncertainty pole this is basically heisenberg uncertainty principle very simple question answer number a question number 18 at 25 this is a question related to the kohlhaas law this this says at 25 degree centigrade equivalent conductance at in finite dilution of aqua solution hcl nacl and sodium acetate is given at the same time what will be the in what will be the conductivity at in finite dilution for acetic acid very simple question you you must write these three equations for example first write like this hcl will dissociate like this these three equations are given and we need to find out the equivalent conductance of this molecule if you do the calculation you will be getting the answer option number b now another very important question that question number 19 the temperature at which properties of real gas coincide with the properties of perfect gas that means when pressure tends to zero the it says under which condition real gas will behave like ideal gas so it is a boil's temperature the option number b question number 20 says oxidation state of chromium in cro5 okay this is a little bit of tricky question before proceeding to oxidation state you must write the structure of cro5 it is like this if you don't know the structure you will be end up with the wrong option so the correct the correct answer is answer number d this is minus 1 peroxide linkage and this is minus 2 another question which one of the following molecule is best represented by e isomer the very simple question option number b 22 chemical formula of marshall's acid h2s2o8 22b now another 23 question another very important question or very easy question for an ideal gas magnitude of most probable velocity cm available as ca and root mass called cr will be related to so crms is greater than c average which is greater than most probable answer is b now question number 24 which says for a chemical reaction the rate constant is found experimentally decreases with temperature okay so rate constant is decreases with increasing temperature identify the correct statement generally we know that as per arrhenius theory rate k is equal to k a into the power minus e a by rt so k will increase if you increase the temperature but here it is given opposite yes there are some reactions for example chain reaction they does not follow the normal arrhenius equation so the correct option is option number a question number 25 a very very easy question delta h delta v and delta s indicate the changes in respectively enthalpy volume and entropy for two different ideal gas so this is basically the condition of ideal solution first we have a raoult's law question now this the op only possible answer is option number d delta h mix equal to 0 delta v mix equal to 0 and delta s mix is positive so given that delta s is not equal to 0 question number 26 the correct order of polarizability for the following given molecules this is a question related to the fazan rule so smaller the size of the anion greater will be the polarizability of that anion so option number a question 27 is the aromatic comp aromaticity related question which one of the following molecule is not an aromatic compound okay cyclopentadiene anion yes it is a aromatic compound cyclo octa tetraenal dienan so this is a this molecule cot dienan basically this molecule cot is a planar molecule it follows for n plus 2 pi 2 electron there is 10 pi electron so this is not the my acid tropolyl cation again a aromatic compound the only possible answer is option number d okay cyclo pentadienyl cation is not an aromatic compound okay it is a anti aromatic compound now we have a question number 8 the correct order of the following carbocation is very simple question the correct uh, the only possible answer is answer number d why 
because one in option number D, one is greater than three, this is greater than this one, and which in turn greater than two and then greater than four. Why? Because in one, carbocation is present at two degree system and which is also stabilized by the lone pair of oxygen atom. Question number 29. Among the following compounds, the correct order of is acidity. Okay. So greater the stability of the negative charge, greater will be the possibility of acidity. So this is the most acidic compound. 4, then 3, 1, 2. So 4, 3, 1, 2, option number D. Now we have a question number 30. When the principal, when the principal quantum number n of an atom is 4, total number of electrons present is 2n square. So answer will be 32. Answer is 30A. Now we have a 31 number of questions related to the NMR. How many signal in 1 HNMR spectra will be obtained for the following two molecules? So they have right, written down two molecules. We need to find out the peaks. So for one number molecule, 1, 2, then 2, 1. That means two peaks will be there. And here 1, 2, 3, 4. So option B. Now question number 32. The major product found in the following reaction. This is basically a Perkin reaction. So it will lead to the form of ceramic acid. Okay. So we have written, they have written two ceramic acid. Option A and option B. Since option B is cis, so only possible answer is option A. We need to find out the more appropriate answer. Okay. Now question number 32. This is related to the lyophobic collides. The lyophobic collides are basically unstable. Every collide is charged particle. So this neutral is wrong. This neutral is again wrong. And they are thermodynamically less stable and irreversible. The only possible option is option A. Which of the following is a pseudohalogen. So this one is pseudohalogen. 34A. 35. Viscosity of a gas and that of liquid varies with the various uh, increase in temperature. So, what is the relation? Viscosity of a gas will increase within increasing temperature while that of the viscosity of liquid will decrease. So, answer is option number D. What is very, very conceptual question? Question number 36. A particular reaction may take place with or without catalyst. So, we have a, they have given a two reaction. One is with catalyst, another is without catalyst. And then says, in comparison to the uncatalyzed reaction, the, for the catalyzed reaction, the temperature at the same temperature. That means, at the same temperature, what will be the op uh, correct option for catalyzed reaction? We know that catalyst will lower the activation energy and thereby increase the rate of both forward and backward reaction. But equilibrium constant will not disturb. So the possible answer is the value of both forward and backward rate constant will increase. But K equilibrium will remain constant. So option number C. Now we have question number 37. Among the following molecules, the correct order of enol content. Okay, very, very simple question. So, 1, 2, 3, option number D. 38, this is memory based question. When alanine is heated with the glycerol in present sulfuric acid, nitrobenzene, it gives quinoline. This is a scrap synthesis. 39, we, they want the name of this coordination complex. The name is tetraamine aqua copper 2 sulfate. Now, question related to radioactivity. Question number 40 says identify A and B. Since 92 and 238's alpha is 2, alpha equal to 2 HE4. Okay, so my answer 90, uranium 234 and again minus 1 e, beta is equal to minus E0, minus 1 E0 that means this, so option A. Now here come my 41 little bit of conceptual question, the ground state term symbol of oxygen atom, oxygen atom means oxygen is your H, so 1H2, 2H2, 2P4, 1, 2, 3 and 4, so possible answer is 41. What to do? Very, very simple question, geometry and hybridization of PCL5, option number A. Yes, another very conceptual question. 43. How the conversion of acetophenone to acetonilide? Acetophenone. So you need to write the acetophenone. This is acetophenone. Convert it to acetonilide. This is acetonilide. So how will you convert this first? You add here hydroxyl amine, NH2OH. Then it will be the formation of oxygen. Okay. Then just treat with simple acid. There will be a rearrangement and the name of the reaction is Beckman. So answer is A. Now 44 question, Wilkinson catalyst. This is basically Wilkinson RHCl PPS3 whole price. This is basically a homogeneous hydrogenation. Option C. Now 45 number question, allowed rotational level of rigid diatomic molecules. So the spacing is 2B, 4B, 6B. So spacing is increasing once you go higher levels. So option C. 46 question says, calculate the pH of a buffer solution composed of 0.7 molar formic acid and 0.7 molar sodium format. So as per Henderson Hasselbaum equation, pH equal to pKa plus log consider salt by concentration of acid. Since this is equal, this will become 0. So pH equal to pKa. 46. A, B. Now 47. Very conceptual question. 47 number. Conductivity. That is specific colon as kappa and equivalent as lambda of aqua solution of acetic acid. This is a R1 and this is a weak acid. And HCl would vary with. As we already know that 
with dilution equivalent conductance of both acetic acid and hcl will increase so r2 will increase okay kappa will increase for both r1 r2 but specific conductance will decrease with increasing the dilution so possible answer is b question so, 48 says identify the set of molecules having all vibration modes are ir as well as raman active in generally for a given molecule the ir modes are raman inactive and raman active modes are ir inactive but for those molecules which has permanent dipole moment all the vibrational modes are ir as well as raman active so we need to find out the molecule having permanent dipole moment so carbon dioxide doesn't have permanent dipole moment again here carbon dioxide doesn't have permanent dipole moment ch4 no permanent so only option is option number b now 49 number question says Identify the correct statement about the equilibrium constant and ionic cell. As you guys already know, the equilibrium constant is a dimensionless quantity. Okay. And ionic strength I is equal to half of summation of summation of Ami Zi square. So this one. So the dimension has dimension. So A. Now 40 50 number question. The ground state term electronic conversion nickel is very simple question. C 51 number question says the addition of some amount of argon to the gas. To equilibrium this or this pcl5 goes to pcl3 and cl2 maintaining constant volume and constant pressure if the volume is constant so equilibrium constant will remain unchanged it lowers the effect of addition of argon gas so answer is b now we have question 52 according to moc o2 and o2 very simple question no need to tell d 53 in liquid ammonia this is basically a acid based question a 53 a now this 54 number question this is a very ambiguous question about it says among the following dyes, which one will not take part in dissolver reaction? As per the dissolver reaction, it is basically a dyne plus dyne of fire. So dyne should be locked in S cis conformation that will undergo the reaction. And this is locked in S cis conformation. So it is will be not my answer. Now uh, option number A and option number B says, although these are two, although it is a trans conformation, but there is a possibility of rotation. So it will be converted to S cis. Then again, the other that's S cis. So this is wrong. This is wrong. Since option number D, it is completely locked in S trans, so it will not take part in dissolver reaction. Fifty five says a cubic crystal lattice has coordination number and radius ratio. Very simple. Cubic crystal lattice means BCC. So option number C. Fifty six hydrolysis of diborane. It will form the S three BO three. So boric acid, ortho boric acid. Okay. Fifty seven number question. Yes, this is a very very standard question. And this question says graph of variation of log k, logarithm of rate constant, reaction rate constant with respect to the root over i for the following reaction. This is this this question is related with the Bronsted Bjerum equation. Okay, Bronsted Bjerum equation and says log k is equal to log k naught plus z plus z minus root over i. Okay. So we need to find out slope if we plot y equal to mx plus c e, slope will become z plus into z minus okay so this is my answer so first reaction is inversion of sugar z plus z minus is zero the slope will become zero for first one okay i minus i2 minus so z if you do the product minus one into minus two you will get plus two that means slope is positive so for reaction one slope is zero for reaction slope is positive and for reaction three minus 1 into plus plus 1 equal to minus slope is negative so the only possible answer is number c question 58 says identify the true statement about extensive and intensive very simple question option number c now we have a question 59 it says the correct order of reactivity of the given organic halide towards unimolecular system, the sn1 that means related related with the stability of the carbocation so the correct answer is option number c okay last question this is a carbolamin reaction methyl amine reacts with chloroform kos let's form a plus kcl this is a carbolamin reaction let's form from methyl isocyanide so this is the answer so guys if you have any doubt related with the question paper feel free to connect with me till then stay tuned to thank you